many people unknowingly approach the subject of small kids and dogs in the wrong light. When I talk about young children, I mean kids that are eight years old and younger. I don't believe that small children should have unrestricted access to puppies or even adult dogs for that matter. To do so only begs for an accident to happen. Either the child will hurt the puppy or the puppy with its sharp baby teeth will accidentally hurt the child. When puppies are still with their litter mates, they play by biting and grabbing one another. Puppies learn to interact through their play. The problem is their teeth are like sharp little needles. When a puppy bites a litter mate too hard, the litter mate screams. This scream tells the biting puppy that he's being too rough. When you bring a puppy into your home, you and your family become an extended litter or pack. The dog or the pup doesn't just wake up one morning and know that biting is no longer an acceptable way of playing. You and the children in your family must teach a puppy manners. You do this by screaming, ouch, when he bites too hard. Children who are too young to do this should not be allowed to play with a puppy. This is one way a puppy learns family manners. No normal child would ever knowingly hurt a puppy. But almost all children need to learn how to interact with puppies. Small children should not pick puppies up and walk around. It's too easy for a puppy to start to wiggle and fall or get nervous about being held too tight or being held around the neck in the wrong way and then bite the arm that's holding it. Once a puppy has been hurt by a child, it can take a long, long time, if ever, for that dog to be able to accept children. The best way for young children to play with puppies is by sitting on the ground the way you see here. Older children need to be taught how to hold a puppy when they pick it up. There you go. And hold them against your body. She's right there. It's on its back. It's on its back. They need to show the dog that when they pick it up, they're going to be gentle. They need to support the front chest and the back feet when they hold it. Here we see Andrew doing a very good job of demonstrating how a nine-year-old can pick a puppy up and safely hold him and carry him. I get a lot of emails every day. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten emails from people who write about how aggressive their puppy is. They complain that all their puppy wants to do when it gets out is to bite them. They mistakenly think that this is aggression, when in fact, it's just prey drive in a puppy. Prey drive is the drive to chase and bite. It's a genetic drive. It's a factor that many puppies are born with. Prey drive is more pronounced in some breeds than other breeds, and in some dogs from those breeds more than other dogs. You will see prey drive in puppies if you allow your kids to run around in the backyard when your puppy is loose. When puppies latch onto your pant legs, it's prey drive that's causing the dog to bite and not aggression. When puppies bite their litter mates, they're biting in prey drive. When puppies bite your hands or your pants, they're biting in prey drive. It's your job to teach your puppy that his toys and not your hands or your legs and your kids are prey items. Puppy needs to learn that toys are prey items. To do this, you need to show the pup it's more fun to play with his toys than your legs. This is done by redirecting the puppy to a toy when he's biting your leg or your hand. When kids and puppies are left to their own accord, they get too excited and start to run around. This triggers the puppy's prey drive to chase, which in turn results in puppies grabbing the kids. Parents need to control the environment they allow both kids and puppies to interact. With that said, every puppy needs to have a safe place to get away and to rest. If you or your friends or your family have a puppy and would like to learn a little more on how to raise it, I would recommend my DVD. Your puppy, eight weeks to eight months. 
If you'd like to watch some of the free streaming videos that I have on my website, you can go to this web address now. I have a number of uh, free streaming training videos and then a number of product videos also.